Some analysts said Tehran might be attempting to show a link between his and Iranian and the Kurdish rebels who have been battling with Iranian troops for years for regional autonomy in western Iran. File, a militiaman of the Kurdistan Freedom Party, an Iranian and the Kurdish opposition group, looks over the sandbags at a section of the front line near the Iraqi city of Kirkuk, September 5, 2016. File, a militiaman of the Kurdistan Freedom Party, an Iranian and the Kurdish opposition group, looks over the sandbags at a section of the front line near the Iraqi city of Kirkuk, September 5, 2016. Ethnic Kurds make up nearly 9% of Iran's population of 80 million people. They are largely Sunni Muslims and have long desired more autonomy from Tehran, calling for cultural and political rights. In announcing the death of an Iranian and a Kurdish leader, Tehran is using the news to justify pressure over Kurdish activists in Iran, said Hazhar Rahimi, an analyst at the University of Sorin in the Kurdish region of Iraq. Hundreds of volunteer Iranian and the Kurds have bolstered Kurdish forces in Syria and Iraq in recent months in the fight against this. Tehran has registered its displeasure with Kurdish officials over the use of Iranian and the Kurdish volunteers in battle, even though most volunteers are not linked with Iranian and the Kurdish rebels. In focusing on his in public speeches, the Iranian regime may also want to show the Iranian people that it is getting tough on militancy, analysts said. Iranian officials play these cards whenever they feel they need it, whether it is for domestic purposes, like showing how bold they are, or to show international players how their importance can change the equation of the game, said Rasul Nafisi, an Iranian affairs expert in Washington. Michael Horowitz, a Middle East security analyst, said as Iran faces increasing casualties on the battlefront in Syria, it has also been able to rally domestic support for its operations outside the country by pointing to the possibility that is would sooner or later attack in Iran itself. This was the case, for instance, after the Paris attack, when intelligence chief Lavi said this should serve as a warning to Tehran, said Horowitz, director of intelligence at Prime Source, a Middle East-based geopolitical consultancy.